Hi, let's solve lead code 1299. In this problem, we are given an array of integers and for every element in that array, we have to replace it with the greatest element to its right. So let's consider an example. Consider the array 17, 18, 5, 4, 6 and 1. So for 17, we traverse through all of its right elements that is 18, 5, 4, 6 and 1. And we find that 18 is the largest element so we put 18 and then similarly for 18 we traverse through all of its right elements and we get that 6 is the largest element so we put 6 here and then similarly for 5 we again go through all of its right elements and we find that 6 is again the largest element so we get this array and similarly if we keep on traversing for each element to its right we finally end up with the array 18 6 6 6 1 and minus 1 so minus 1 is given in the question for the last element we have to replace it with a minus 1 now if we go through the brute force way traversing for each element the to the all the array to its right we'll end up with the order of n square solution so we have to traverse through all the n elements and for each element we again have to traverse to its right so it turns out to be an order of n square algorithm now if you notice and notice a pattern here we are doing kind of a repeated work so for for the first element we traverse this uh, this much of the array and then for the second element we are again traversing 5 4 6 1 which we had already traversed for the first part now seeing this we can get an idea that if we approach the problem from the opposite side we, we can get an easier solution so let me give you a demo of that so let me take the uh, let me take the same example 17 18 5 4 6 and 1 so as given the question we replace the last element with minus 1 and now for 6 we know that the element to its right will always be either the greatest element to its uh, right or the right element that is let's say arr of i is given arr is this array let let us uh, name the new array as answer of i so answer of i will always be answer of i plus 1 or arr of i plus 1 it will be the maximum of these how so let's see for 6 we know that there's only one element to its right so it will all be one right now for four we know that all the elements to the right of six the greatest element is one so we only need to check between these two and we find that six is the greater one so we put six and similarly when we come to five we know that for all elements to the right of four the greatest is six so to find the greatest to the right of 5 we can say that it will be the greater among 4 and 6 and so this turns out to be 6 similarly when we come to 18 we know that to the right of 5 the greatest element is 6 so to the right of 18 we just need to consider 5 and 6 and the greatest among 5 and 6 is 6 and similarly when we come to 17 we know that the greater element the greatest element to the right of 18 is 6 so the greatest element to the right of 17 will either will be the max of 18 or 6 which in this case turns out to be 18 and for this approach to work we have we just have to traverse the array once and so this turns out to be an order of n algorithm uh, regarding space since we are returning a new array uh, if we return a new array then we'll have to use the order of n space for creating the array but if we are returning the same array it will just be an order of one space complexity
so it will be order of n if a new array is used and will be an order of one if uh, we are returning the same array now let's get to the coding part so we'll take an integer n and we'll store the size of the array we also have to take an answer array of size n now we'll be traversing the array from the rightmost side we know that if we are at the last index the answer will be minus 1 else the answer will be the maximum of answer of i plus 1 or the element at i plus 1 and then we can return the answer as discussed the it will be an order of n in time complexity let's run the solution so it is working fine if you are new to the channel please subscribe and if you like the video please like it Thank you so much for watching.